What's up guys, Anton here at DPR. This week it's all about the head red clown. If you're ready, let's jump right into that. All right guys, so Heteroxanthic, what is this gene? The name is very confusing. It's a gene that uh, is originating from Canada, from Cory Woods back in 2001. Uh, this gene is a very dark mutation, hence the exanthic uh, name to it. At first, Cory thought that this gene was a recessive and the super form was the red exanthic, so he called that gene the het red exanthic. Um, but later it was proved out that this gene is not actually a recessive. It is an incomplete dominant, the super form being the red exanthic and the incomplete form being the het red exanthic. We also oftentimes refer to it as HRA as an acronym. Um, and in my hand right now, I'm holding a het red exanthic clown female. That's basically the mother of the clutch that we did the egg cutting a couple weeks ago. And we're gonna dive into the babies that after shed today. Um, so basically this one's in shed right now, but heterodexanthic in clown makes a very black back animal, very thick dorsal stripe, a very blank head stamp, but I've never really seen them with a lot of things. And we managed to make some really interesting stuff in that clutch. So let's dive in. Reminder on the pairing, it was a gargoyle red stripe yellow belly head clown male, gargoyle being uh, allelic interaction of uh, cinnamon and heterodexanthic. So every single baby is either cinnamon or heterodexanthic to the heterodexanthic female. So we can reproduce some gargoyles and make some uh, red exanthic and some of them might be clowns. So uh, you've seen that clutch uh, on egg cutting. You've seen those babies. They are really, really awesome. Uh, now after full shed, we'll go over very quickly on the very simple stuff. This is just a single gene heterodexanthic yellow belly. The really good thing about heterexanthic is that it is a dark gene, same allele as black pastel, Hoffman and cinnamon, uh, but it is not as brown, gives not as many reddish tones. It really is more on the gray side, especially as the super form, and we'll dive into those. So this animal is a single gene gargoyle. This animal doesn't have any brown pigment besides on the head right now. They will gain a little bit as they age, a little bit of yellow on the sides, not that much, it's mostly gray. A very nice and unbroken dorsal stripe. Octopus suckers type of pattern on the sides. Uh, you really have that typical uh, floating alien heads on the entire animal with a lot of interesting belly pixelization on those sides. Uh, so this is a typical gargoyle. And when you add red stripe and yellow belly to it, which is basically the exact same thing as the dad, you will have a little bit of a more busy animal. They are both very similar. You mostly see the difference on uh, the alien heads, how more busy this one is. They are a little bit separated, a little bit more separated than the previous one. And the sides are extremely pixelated. You have all that popcorning effect, that texture coming between the belly and the pattern of the animal. So this is mainly the effect of red stripe and yellow belly to that combination. And now let's move on to the visual clowns. All right, so I wanted to do a little bit of a comparison between the gargoyle and the gargoyle clown. Uh, obviously clown being a black back completely obliterates that dorsal stripe. It really makes the whole animal extremely dark. You lose that uh, black and those soft grays to get a muted gray in the entire animal. A completely blank head also uh, from obviously the clown. And those patterns are really busy, really weird. You still have those floating alien heads on the sides. You, you see a little bit of that dorsal stripe, but not as much obviously as the single gargoyle version. That head stamp is completely muted. You have absolutely no pattern there. A little bit of blue eyes, pretty cool. Um, so that's the gargoyle clown. It is an interesting animal. Obviously it is extremely dark. We'll need a lot of effort to uh, bring back some contrast and some colors in there. Probably genes like fire and spot nose would be great help to add back some of that pattern that we have from the gargoyle that the clown is removing. Um, so that's the interaction of cinnamon and heterodexanthic. But the real exciting part is when you double that heterexanthic part. All right, guys, those two animals are the 
absolute crown jewels of the clutch. They are both red Exenthic clown combos. Uh, other than red Exenthic, there's red stripe and yellow belly in the mix. To me, this is a complete new venture. I don't know that much about that project other than they look absolutely striking. They look like perfect VPI Exenthic uh, clowns. They look phenomenal really really like them but the pattern on them is extremely busy a lot of alien heads a lot of pattern look at this guys um and having that much pattern without having jeans like spot nose in it is really impressive so obviously these two animals are fairly different it's pretty hard to say as there's not many combos that have been made what they are exactly but Here's my opinion. I think that this animal here is the single gene red exanthic clown. Based on what the gargoyle looks like, based on what the red exanthic also look like, that's what I'm thinking. And I do think that this one is when you add red stripe on top, it would make the animal brighter a little bit, a little bit like an effect like what I would expect fire to do to that combo. Um, and it makes a very different dorsal stripe. It really opens up that dorsal stripe, creates that little type of you know cheetah pattern spotted pattern on the first part of the animal the red exanthic alone has it as well but it soon breaks down to be that typical stripe which is very odd to have on a visual clown usually you don't really have that um and they both have that very thick pattern on the neck and the dorsal and that blank head so those are the two uh red exanthic clowns and you know guys it is brand new those animals move so much this is this is the reality of trying to do uh you know comparison videos and, and showing those animals they are absolutely look at this like what do you want me to do with that <laughs> those things are crazy um but i'm really excited about that project mostly because they look phenomenal and they only have just a couple genes that pure red exanthic form and with red stripe on top we haven't put any you know pattern mutation like spot nose uh in there so that is super exciting and the cool thing is that they are not in the allele of chocolate cypress spot nose bungo blackhead so all genes can still be added on top of that uh and trying to work on that very exotic busy look uh this project is super exciting and those babies will soon go back in their bins because they are fired up guys heterod exotic is you know he's been there for almost 20 something years but in clown so little has been done with it partially because Corey's collection uh the uh, founder of that gene doesn't have any clown in it he's focused on different projects uh he's pioneered a lot of work with it uh heterodexanthic on its own is you know kind of a just a dark gene but really when you start layering that exanthic look and that very busy pattern with genes like leopard they interact like crazy i've seen some i'll post them right now actually on the screen from um exclusive snakes back in, uh, in germany they have made some crazy combos in the clown project with head red exantic so i'm super excited to see where we can head out with this but i'm telling you right now a little bit on what type of projects do i want to go with that i want to recreate that vpi dg clown but with only besides the clown only incomplete dominant so i'd like to do something like a white lace red exanthic clown try to have that two super incomplete dominant and clown and see how close we can get to that dg vpi clown uh, i don't think that we'll get that close to it because obviously red exanthic is not a pure exanthic animal white lace is different also than desert ghost so i don't know how that would interact but definitely as far as patterns we'll get a ton of it so we'll be working on that project really hard that might take a couple years, obviously. We don't have anything heterodoxic and laced together, but that is super exciting. Um, guys, let me know down in the comment which genes would you add to that red exanthic project, red exanthic clown, and let me know what you think of those insane animals. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, go follow us on uh, Instagram, and check our available animals on Marth Market. We'll see you soon. Cheers.